I'd like to talk to you about noise and what noise can do for you. Uh, we got a new rule, Part 62, that come in effect, and uh, I kind of like to talk about uh, noise injuries and stuff. Uh, first, I'd like to say when you get injure a hand or a foot, uh, there's pain right away. You can feel it wearing noise. There's no pain. You don't feel it like you smash your thumb right away. There's instant pain. With noise, there is no pain, and you really don't know you're losing your hearing. But I kind of like to talk to you about decibels and also about intensity and what noise can and can't do for you. Uh, what uh, decibels is, is the volume of noise, how loud it is, uh, intensity, there's wavelengths in the noise, and uh, with, uh, I like to demonstrate on a guitar the difference between the two. A lot of people think high pitch noise are worse because it's higher pitch, but it's not true. Uh, vibration, I like to talk about uh, the intensity of a, of a low bass, low sound. The wavelength would be further apart and it lasts longer. This would be like in your crusher sounds, your bearings. When you're using bearings and there's something going wrong with it, there's low vibration, which causes a lot of vibration and stress on your structure. Uh, you could have things coming apart and not know it. This top string on a guitar is an E string. And if I hit this E string, I can feel or hear the vibration for at least 11 seconds. So I'll show you. I can still feel the vibration of the guitar. This would be like on your machinery, equipment, something idling, low speeds, is a lot of vibration, causes a lot of stress on structures and stuff. Now here, the E string is also, the bottom string on a guitar is also an E string. And it's higher pitch and your waves would be closer together. It kind of sounds louder, but it's actually less vibration. And when I hit this string, I can only feel it for about five seconds, half the time. So it's about half the time the high pitch versus the low pitch. That's the intensity. Now the decibels is the noise, anything over 80 decibels. You can work 16 hours, 85 decibels. You can work 16 hours, 90 decibels, 8 hours. When you get 5 decibels louder on each scale, then you can only work half that time, so it cuts your workforce down. 90 decibels, I work 8 hours and be safe, 100% of the PEL. If I go 95 decibels, then I can only work 4 hours. So see, that cuts it in half. And that doesn't matter whether you're wearing earplugs or not. 95 decibels, I can only work four hours with plugs or without in that area. And uh, what I did is my boss challenged me. I play in a country band, and he asked me, he says, write a song about this noise. So I kind of here's what I kind of come up with. You want to do the song again? It was all right back ten years or so. I got me a job at a coal mine, working on a noisy old drag line. They had signs up all over the place. Wear your earplugs and mask for your face. But who's got time to do what they say? I should have had to listen, cause I can't hear today. My best friend works in a gravel pit Working around crushers and dust and bits I think his hearing is worse than mine He's hard to talk to, he says what? All the time They're making new laws to cover these sounds So we have to get those desk bubbles down You have air arcing in the MG sets Impact noises over 8 seconds 
And all the vibrations from the crusher sound So we have to get those desk bubbles down So where, where did my hearing go? It was all right back ten years or so. Got to do what they say, or it gets worse every day.